Aloha Taurus, this is Stephanie with Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your May 2021 um, general reading. So this is for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button. All of those things help my channel to grow and expand. Also, please leave me a comment. I love to hear your comments and it helps the YouTube algorithm do what it does. Um, I don't think I've had this happen, but I've seen other tarot readers that are having scammers out there. Um, please know I will never solicit you for money. If you would like to have a private reading or anything with me, I do that on a platform called Keen, um, and the link is in the description box below. So I will never, um, and um, I, I take bookings on my website, so I will never from YouTube ask you to um, have a private reading. I'll never solicit you for money. Um, so if someone does that in my name, please understand that that is not, so do not, um, uh, I will never comment for you to have a private reading. So um, if someone does that, just ignore it, please, because apparently there's scammers out right now um, targeting YouTube folks, uh, particularly the tarot readers. Okay, so here we go. I do have a... Um, uh, for the month of April, I have been doing a um, raffle, and so even though this is the May reading, I um, this is your last chance to get in for the April raffle, okay? Um, so I'm raffling off the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, I'm not paid for this or anything. I just bought an extra because um, I want to give back to my subscribers. So how you qualify, it's free to qualify. You just... Um, uh, subscribe so it's for subscribers like and comment do the bell button and in the comment section write the word done um, done lets me know that you want to participate in the raffle these are some of my favorite tarot cards I will be using them during the reading so if you're interested in being part of the raffle I will um, I will um, raffle those off on the last day of April and then send those out so very soon a couple more days here so let's get started on your reading. We're going to take some Hawaiian salt to clear the energy. Gives you your minerals. We're going to start with the Keepers of the Light card and see who the General Guardian, General Energies for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. <laughs> There's this one that was just insistent. <laughs> okay. We're also going to do a medicine wheel card, um, or what are they called? Sorry, medicine cards. And these are the um, Native American animals. Okay, so to see which animal spirit is going to be working with you as well. Okay, beautiful. So the first um, off, Taurus, we have the Miriam. And happy birthday, by the way, Taurus. We're in Taurus season, so happy birthday. So the Miriam, sacred vision. This says, choose to forgive in order to heal, see the light in all, and remember that love has no boundaries. And specifically right now, having that sacred vision, um, being able to see things through the eyes of love, Taurus, that's going to be a major um, part for you in the coming month, is to look at things from a higher visionary point. Even this geometry here is the Vesica Pisces. So look that up. That will have information for you. Okay. It's called a Vesica. It's called Vesica Pisces. Okay. Um, but this is very important. Sacred geometry. So there's going to be information in that when you look that up for yourself. Okay. I'm into interactive readings, right? <laughs> and so next you got the Fox. Okay. The Fox says, where are you under the ferns becoming the forest so I can learn? Are you watching and visible to me, trying to teach me to become a tree? Okay, really beautiful. So the fox, the fox spirit is about camouflage. Okay, it's about um, uh, coming into your own ability to meld into your surroundings to get um, what it is that you want. This is the power of being able to go invisible. The power to be able to. Um, uh, to avoid uh, danger, to avoid situations. This is also a card that reminds me very much of like a shape-shifting presence. So 
um, what is shape-shifting in your life, Taurus? It's also the card 25. That may mean something to you. My left hand is itching all of a sudden. And so if that's happening for you, that's just Spirit's indication to pay attention. Um, there's something in this for you. Okay, so I'm definitely choosing to forgive in order to heal. That that choice to forgive is not that you say it's okay that someone has treated you a certain way. What it is is as freeing yourself from the bondage of um, being upset with them, okay? It's allowing yourself to heal. It's allowing yourself to see the light in others and to really learn that um, that camouflage kind of deal what what it's really interesting they're reminding me of a time when i was learning different um, psychic tools one of which being invisible and we had a um nlp class and i was practicing how to be invisible because i come with a really strong presence i'm loud when i talk you know so I, i'm learning the opposite of myself okay and um i'm standing in class and there's um, a teacher that's teaching. We're getting ready to do a subtle energy learning. And I, I was really practicing, okay, make yourself invisible. Pull your energy back to go invisible. And I'm standing directly in front of the teacher. And she goes, where is Stephanie? And to the whole class, like, we can't start without Stephanie being here. And I was standing right in front of her. And that was the first time I learned how to do invisible, how to camouflage myself. And the whole class is like, she's standing right in front of you. But she could not see me because I was um, actively learning that camouflage. I was actively learning how to be the fox. Because I think there's things that are coming for you, Taurus, in the month of May that's going to make it where that's going to be useful for you to be able to be cunning and to learn like the fox learns because the fox is definitely one that's very sharp. They're very, very um, intelligent. They're very much able to um, see patterns and avoid um, distraction and, and distress through the art of camouflage, okay? So let's get to the tarot and go a little deeper here, okay. All right. Oh, oh, okay. That's it, they said. Okay. So let me get the cards on the table. And then, yeah. All right. Oh, I didn't want that that way. Thank you. And perfect. Okay. So um, past energies with this sacred vision, they are showing that um, we have the devil... We have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like in the recent past, actually, what they're showing is they're, uh, like, for some, it ha these things have immediately happened, and for others, this has been, like, a pattern that's been resonating in your field. Um, but what you've been dealing with is releasing toxic patterns, okay? Devil's the card of Capricorn. Uh, Devil is, is uh, Capricorn and Saturn, and it's in its home sign there, and so it's essentially about boundaries. You've been learning how to do boundaries. You may have been dealing with toxic people in the past, especially if there is forgiveness on the table, okay? And this is someone that um, may have kind of rushed in and rushed out, okay? Whether that be in business, whether that be romantic. Um, this is a general reading, so I'm reading for a lot of people. So for some of you, it could have been someone who was sort of like uh, a super passionate person that had some toxic issues in a love romance relationship lots of passion, but they rushed in, rushed out because this 10 of pentacles being reversed, what, what was wanted, what you thought was going to happen was the happy home, the blessing, uh, all the resources. And what really happened was the opposite of that. Okay. For others of you, this may be around business, like someone in, um, your workplace also um, having to do with your own health Taurus so really learning to how to have boundaries like you've been in a process of learning how to have boundaries forgive people who have disrespected your boundaries but you've been learning how to have boundaries how to release the toxic patterns how to release the the people that like coming in just for the passion just to sample your energy and then they're out because you really do want this ten of Pentacles you really want that um, happy um, home, all your resources taken together, all, like uh, taken care of, 
all your money taken care of. You know, this, uh, the Kabbalah up there, um, this is the tree of life, this uh, sacred geometry here. Okay, so um, you have really been wanting that spiritual and, um, and earthen um, togetherness to come in. So you've been practicing boundaries, Taurus. And so Spirit's acknowledging that you have been practicing your boundaries. You have been learning to discern spirits. You've been learning to discern, um, you know, people coming in for a good time, not a long time. You've, you've really been going through these life lessons in the past, and they're acknowledging that you have been doing that. You've been learning how appropriate it is to have um, boundaries. Because what they're showing in the now, we have the Seven of Wands. Um, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, the Hermit, and the Two of Wands. So in the now, you're in a really beautiful position, okay? Seven of Wands and this, um, this Five of Swords reversed is showing that in the now, you are coming out of stinking thinking, conflict, that... Um, sort of devil on your shoulder, you're coming out of that. If this was in the upright, you would be having conflicting thoughts. Since it's reversed, you're coming out of the conflicting thoughts. And how you're doing that is through those boundaries, through meditation, through um, uh, choosing who you give your energy to. And Spirit's acknowledging you're doing a really good job of um, giving your energy where it's appropriate okay so laying low like you're invisible to these people they're trying to get in okay there is one that's able to get to you but notice they do not mess up your peace so right now i feel like you're choosing you're in this hermit mode okay and you've gone up the mountain here and you have the light that's shining so what spirit's showing is you have learned the lesson so they're asking to do this forgiveness work um, with the sacred vision here because you've got it and you're able to give that energy out. So that's where the fox comes into play because you've kind of camouflaged yourself in month of May. You'll be doing that. I feel like you're going to be um, really looking through um, your life and reviewing some things because we have two of wands here. So what this is showing to us is that you're about to embark on a new adventure. Okay, this could be some of you may be starting a new career. Some of you may be going on an actual journey. Uh, some of you may be partnering with someone that's going to be really useful for you in love and business, um, either or, because this two of wands is like this um, partnership of passion. And notice that she's looking out the window. She's kind of dreaming. Right now you're formulating your dream. You're formulating your next moves after having healed from this past situation okay uh, some of you may have been um, like in school like I feel like this is a rite of passage because it's like you've come through these things and this is a significant change that's happening okay what's coming in for you we have in the near future we have the king of swords and the death and rebirth so this is the card of Scorpio so on the table we have Capricorn we have um, Virgo and uh, Scorpio here and then any of the air signs if for those of you that like to know the the signs okay so king of swords here is so death and rebirth let me start there um, so you're really going through a death of one cycle and a rebirth of yourself some of you it may be as far as it goes as far as rebirthing your identity I feel like some of you are really making like they're showing me a 180 and so you're really making a, a turn here okay because you have a new life coming in for some of you those of you looking for love and romance there's someone coming in does not matter the gender the king of swords is someone who is both spiritual and logical um, they do use their brain to make their decisions um, they are truth speakers okay uh, for those of you that are in business, you may be partnering with someone like this. So the King of Swords is also the King of Spades, master of themselves and their environment. So King of Spades birthday, there's only one birthday in the entire year that gets the King of Spades card. Okay, so this King of Swords is someone very significant for you um, that's coming in to be of assistance. So let's just like um, clarify a little farther. Okay. In the future here oops how do we want that okay 
Yeah, this um, this King of Swords is someone who's going to um, bring in a long-term offer. We have Knight of Pentacles. And this offer could be um, in any area of your life that you are um, moving forward in. Because it's not being specific at, at this time. And this is a general read for a lot of people. So those of you looking to start a new job or enter into a new career, um, this partnership is going to be long-term. Okay, and it's... Um, that slow burn okay so this is um pentacles have to do with values of currency so what's going to happen here is this person as you go through this death and rebirth cycle because you are starting something completely new okay um it's like you're going from being an expert in one area and then starting completely new like i feel like for many of you you're starting all over again in business and love in your own identity, your health and wellness, like everything's kind of changing for you right now. And that's why they're asking you to keep this sacred vision and keep that, um, that camouflage spirit. Also, they're saying the word lay low, you know, it doesn't mean that you need to make strong actions or choices, um, just yet. Okay. Like it's, it's like, uh, you're stepping back to observe your surroundings in order to make your decision because you do have prosperity coming in. And this prosperity is going to be related to um, going into business um, or into relationship with this King of Swords type of energy, okay? This person is at mastery. And the Pentacles here, the Knight of Pentacles is long term. So for those that it's not business and it's love, this is a long term um, offer that could lead to marriage. This is someone that's wanting to be in it with you for the long haul. For those of you in business, it is um, absolutely one that is uh, going to be um, long term wealth. Okay. And then we have the Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the seven of cups. So I feel like Taurus in the month of May, you're going to be spoiled for choice because eight of wands is quick communication. So this person, and I feel like there may be more than one person that's coming in to offer you different things. Okay. Uh, they're coming in to communicate with you. Eight of wands is a card of, of swift communication. Okay. Um, coming in like after a time of stagnation, communication and energy coming in um, and information coming in. But with the Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Cups, you are absolutely learning to um, uh, choose what your investments are going to be, okay? How you're going to invest with your heart, how you're going to invest with your money and your values and your energy, okay? Um, with your heart, you're really investing to find out because notice all these cups, you might be spoiled for choice, but there's, you got a snake in one, you got a bat in one, you've got the water flowing in the other, you know, so you're really choosing how you give your energy and your heart. I don't think you're going to be quick to make a decision to partner with anybody in love or business until you can see, um, what the pattern is. Okay. And, um, and they're saying that's a very good thing because you're learning the discernment so you can invest wisely and all of your investments at this time are going to yield growth. Okay. So it's a very good time for you Taurus to invest in your future. And then the last outcome is King of Cups. So there is someone for those of you that are wanting to have a love relationship. There is someone coming in who wants to offer you their cup. Okay, this is someone who is balanced in their emotions. They're able to express themselves where I feel like in the past you were dealing, those of you that um, are resonating with the more of the love side of things, um, I feel like in the past you were dealing with toxic energy and poor boundaries. This person is going to be healing energy. This is a person who's going to help to heal your heart. For those of you in business, this is... Um, the blending of your mind and your heart. Okay. So this person coming in is because I feel like this energy is not two people. This energy is one person. Okay. So the person coming in is at mastery of their emotions and their logical mind. And they're really going to be able to help you um, to move forward in business in a way that is quite beautiful, but they are asking you to forgive the past, not forget but forgive and to notice the pattern and move forward because you do have a lot of major blessings coming in. A uh, month of May, I feel like is the kind of turning point where you're turning from like um, uh, one way of doing life um, into like some of you may choose to be um, entrepreneurs and working for yourself full time. Some of you may be getting into a new business. Some of you may be getting into a new relationship, but what it's showing is like, 
there's a major cycle ending and one that's beginning. Um, and it's going to be very valuable for you. So they are asking you to use your camouflage, use your invisibility so that you can see the pattern and you can discern. They're um, flashing the word discern. Um, so, um, so yeah. And then the advice from spirit and what's next here is, um, is miracles. <laughs> this is this, uh, the secret destiny cards. Okay. And let me actually read this to you because I want to tell you what this says. And it says double rainbow. It says after the storm, the rainbow appears no matter what, where we are, the instant a rainbow splashes across the sky, we usually stop and stand in awe. Some say that rainbows are messages from the creator. Others say that they are part of the electromagnetic spectrum phenomenon. But no matter the explanation for their existence, rainbows have struck the hearts and souls of many through time. Many traditions believe that rainbows are blessings from the creator. A double rainbow is double the blessings. So it says the storms of the past are passing and your dreams are coming true. No matter what has happened in the past, your future holds abounding miracles, good fortune, celestial beauty, and inner divinity are expanding within you. Believe that your life is guided. Trust in the goodness of the universe. A celestial bridge to the heavens is opening for you. Start a health program. Invest in your career or initiate a relationship and good fortune will manifest. Blessings are flowing in all directions. Believe that you deserve the best because you do. Bounty, joy, blessings, and miracles are flowing your way. Okay, so exactly what I said, you know, forgive. The sacred Miriam will help you with that because miracles are coming. This double rainbow after the storm is coming um, to you. And um, however you invest at this time is going to be uh, be yielding a beautiful blessing and um, abundance for you. So happy, happy birthday, Taurus. And until next time, aloha.